It's incredibly important because it's, it's taking a more comprehensive look at the ocean and most people only think of a few different ways that people use oceans and yet there are many, many and there are new ones coming on all along. For example, uh, in trying to meet the needs for renewable energy, there's a big push for using waves as a source of energy and so the oceans are continually getting new uses and since it is a common area that nobody owns, that creates the potential for conflict. And so having a planning process that really allows us to look at what are comp compatible uses and which uses need to be separated and where are the ideal places to place different aspects of the way people interact with the sea, it's incredibly important. You know, there's, a, there's always a tendency uh, when you have a strong opinion on some subject to uh, if the science goes counter to your views to then not want to be a supporter of science. And I think we have to really turn this around in terms of thinking about how m these are issues that really affect people's lives in very big ways, that affect jobs, um, and it affects the way we're going to be able, what kind of an environment we're going to be handing over to our kids and grandkids. And so science can play a really effective role in helping inform the discussion. It doesn't make decisions, and I think this is a really important uh, distinction that often gets lost in political discussion is that science can only take and evaluate the information we know and put it into frameworks that allow us to have a more informed discussion. There are always going to be controversies on the basis of what we know and what we don't know, but there's really never any, uh, there's no downside to having better scientific information to inform the discussion. And there's a huge upside because in the marine spatial planning is a perfect example where the, the more we know, the more we can find opportunities where everyone can win as opposed to having conflict and people perceiving that my use is going to come at the expense of yours and vice versa. I'm loving the program at the Brent School. It's an amazing institution. There's huge opportunities. I, the thing I like the most is its real focus on solutions to environmental problems that, you know, that environmental scientists have a tendency to study environmental problems uh, but not really think about how they can be a, play a role in solving them. And this institution brings together the kind of disciplines that it really takes to solve problems. And these are complicated challenges. They, have, uh, they require people working with people that have very different expertise. That's an uncomfortable thing for a lot of scientists uh, because they like to be surrounded by people that know what they know. Um, but the Bren School has a very, is a very different model and it, brings, it, it attracts people like myself who really like working across very deep disciplinary divides and finding opportunities where we can come up with new pathways to solutions. So I'm really excited about it. We've got some new initiatives going on in terms of um, enhancing the programs in environmental law, um, in new business opportunities in terms of solving environmental problems by starting new companies as opposed to only viewing this as a regulatory problem. Um, we're working on campus to start to, with a number of, of other groups to focus on environmental media and how we can tap into our strengths on campus in both environmental science and media and really enhance the impact of the work that we do. So it's a very exciting time.